I don't know why am I always blaming myself as a hypocrite and I think that I am not a good Muslim while I am doing all obligatory deeds. How can I save my faith? Many a times people they get several temptations from the shaitan. Now many a times Satan tempts different people in different ways. He has several strategies of tempting people. So those people who are good Muslims, he may tempt them by putting thoughts like you are a hypocrite or you are not a good Muslim or your Iman is low and several other temptations. So whenever we get temptations from the shaitan, we should immediately recite Audhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed. And at the same time throughout the day, see to it that you always do istighfar. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh. I seek refuge in Allah. Uh, that you do istighfar, that you ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet, peace be upon him, he asked forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no less than 70 times a day. In another, in, another, in another narration it says that no less than 100 times a day. So the, if we keep our tongue moist with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah we will not get such thoughts. And see to it that you recite the glorious Quran on a daily basis. The glorious Quran, it is a shifa, it is a healing. And many people when they recite the glorious Quran, they find tranquility and peace. So reciting the glorious Quran on a daily basis is very important and whenever you get such thoughts you should just avoid and ward off these thoughts and a believer he always has hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If a believer dies in the state of Iman, faith then he is guaranteed paradise. So this is the greatest gift that we Muslims have the gift of Iman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Al-Zumur chapter number 39 verse number 53 قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَغْفِرُ الدُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا Say, O oh my servants who have transgressed against their souls. Say, O oh my servants who have transgressed against your souls. Do not despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all sins. So a believer cannot afford to despair in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the greatest gift that we have. It is the gift of Iman. So these thoughts should not demotivate a Muslim. The purpose of shaitan is to demotivate a Muslim and to take him away from the Sirat al-Mustaqeem that is the straight path. See to it that you have good friends. See to it that you involve in Islamic discussions. So all of this will inshallah always keep you motivated and engage in acquiring more knowledge of Islam. And inshallah all of this it will help you and you can also refer to several videos that are available online. You can go to our YouTube channel, the, the YouTube channel of my father Dr. Zakir Naik and at the same time you can refer to the al hidayah platform wherein there are several courses that are available regarding Islam and all of this inshallah will keep you engaged in acquiring Islamic knowledge because an idol's mind is a devil's workshop. So the more we are connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more we do dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will draw us closer towards Him and see to it that you are regular as far as the Qiyamul Layl, the Tahajjud prayer is concerned and if you are regular, inshallah, it, it will bring about a huge change in your life. So I hope that answers your question.